fucking friend! We made it, John! There's Quavosek up ahead! My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. Come. Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There it is, John! Rathskeller Fork! So 
This will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes the rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Let's go. Gentlemen, this will be a...
gentlemen. This will be a fair.
conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy. Oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You smelt out the wrong hell, but, mister. Ah, come on, 
Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Oh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. You can see it ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, he told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French spot... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Faster! Welcome here, mister. Move along. Back off now before we... Let's go! Someone might as well have this. It's not here. That lion sack of shit!
about it. You know that fool with the empty leg? I heard he used to be. Careful, mister. Sure, you'll find something you like here. Got it. Well, hello. I must tell you, a man walked up to me the other day. A fella carrying a Carcano well, sniper rifle was walking about town, they said. Hey, good to see you. Spread the word. Why do I feel like I just got robbed? You know where we are next time you need something. 